From Japan comes the art of kintsugi. It is the art of repairing broken pottery. This repair technique isn't trying to hide the break, it embraces and highlights it. Kintsugi literally means golden joinery. Maybe you have seen it before. Cracks and breaks are beautifully traced and highlighted in golden color. Ever since I first seen it, I was fascinated by the concept. When recently one of our cats sweeped on the coffee table and catapulted a ceramic water bowl off of it, shattering it into multiple pieces, I decided to not just throw the broken parts away, but to try out Kintsugi myself. I won't be following the traditional Japanese method. I learned that the traditional way takes a lot of time because the lacquer used to glue pieces together has to cure for days or even weeks. Instead, I chose to use a food safe epoxy resin and non toxic golden color. First, I need to find out how everything fits together. Then I can start mixing the resin. To glue the pieces together, I do not use any color. The golden seams will be added later. I chose epoxy resin as a lazy and maybe a bit impatient alternative to the traditional way of using Japanese urushi lacquer. But right about here, I realized that I would still need some patience. So I decided to take it more slowly and put it back together. The resin needs to cure overnight, so I first assemble the two halves individually in a position that will keep the smaller pieces in place until everything is dried. However, on the next day, this happens. Apparently the ceramic pieces have soaked up the resin and are not really sticking to each other at all. Hmm, I wonder if it will work with another layer of epoxy, now that there is dried resin inside the porous material already. So I mix another batch of resin and try a second time. In case it works, I also put some resin on the open brake lines, so they can soak it up before I try to glue it together the next day. This time it holds perfectly. Before I glue the halves together, I remove the excess dried resin with a small sharp knife. Then it's time to wait until the glue is dry, and after that, some more cleaning up.
Finally, I can start adding the golden color to the seams. A word on the color that I'm using here. For this project, I had been looking for a non-toxic golden color and I found this mica powder here. What I wasn't aware at the time is that mica is a mineral that has to be mined and large quantities come from sources that include unethical practices such as child labor. Now I don't know about this specific brand, but in future when buying something like this, I will check more carefully if the supply chain is ethical. I simply mix some mica powder into the prepared resin. With a small brush, I first fill the larger gaps that are still there, before I carefully paint along the cracks. I am not missing any larger pieces, but if I did, I could have used resin mixed with wood flour to try to replace those. On every side, I give the resin time to dry and cure before I turn the bowl over and continue on another side. This takes a couple of days because of the curing times. I also put a second coat of colored resin on all seams because after the first one some cracks underneath are still visible. In the end I'm quite satisfied with the result. There's a lot of room for improvement but for the first try I'm really happy with it. So at this point, we can end the video. Or am I forgetting something? Oh yes, people weren't satisfied with the amount of cats shown in my previous videos. Let's see what we can do about that. At this point I wanted to say a huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. Thanks to Access, Andreas and Pixel Junker, it feels great to have your support. If you don't know Patreon, it's a great website to support creators through a monthly subscription. Many creators also offer rewards. In my case you can get access to vlogs, video commentary on my videos and you may also occasionally get something that I make. If you would like to check it out head over to patreon.com slash matumakes. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.